Good morning, Craig Howard here. Happy to be with you again this morning. Do you struggle with frustration? That's a dumb question, isn't it? Everybody does. Um, my youngest brother, Mark, who's mentally handicapped, he, uh, I'm, I'm in Philadelphia right now, and um, he's had issues with his knees for years. Um, he's in a wheelchair, and his knees won't straighten out. And so he is, I don't even know if I combed my hair yet this morning, he's, um, he wakes up several times a night, and because he doesn't know what to do with the pain in his knees, he gets frustrated and he will lay there and he will cry. And so last night I was up with him several times to help get him settled back down. And, and it's just frustration. It's not that the pain in his knees is that intense. It's that he's just frustrated because it's just enough to wake him up and keep him from being comfortable. And um, it, it made me think, you know, how, how frustration sometimes just will overwhelm us um, and, and yet it seems like the last thing one thing that Mark does right is that Mark will say he does a lot of things right but one of the things he'll do right is I'll go in and he'll say Craig will you pray for me and so we'll pray and he'll take a couple drinks of water and maybe we'll put a couple of icy hot patches on his knees and and then he'll lay down and he'll go back off to sleep. Um, you know, the Bible is full of admonitions for us to take our problems to God. Cast your cares upon him for he careth for you. And so many others. Let not your heart or um, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. And I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go, I'll come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there you may be also. But it starts off with just don't let your heart be troubled. I'm, I'm, I'm in the picture, Jesus is saying. I'm, I'm here. I'm taking care of things. I'm watching over things. And yet it seems like for so many people, the last thing that we do when we're, when we're troubled in spirit, when we're frustrated, it seems like the last thing that we do is spend time talking to God about it. I received a call from Kelly Kreitz this morning, her her one son Jeremiah is in the hospital and is having some uh, some pretty significant health issues and uh, so as we were talking I said you know let's just pray together and and we there over the phone while we're hours apart she's in Winchester I'm in Philadelphia we were able to bow our heads and come together as a brother and sister in Christ and lift up frustration a problem to our heavenly father and he he hears and he cares and he takes care of it it seems like one of these days we'll learn that the answer to our problems it's not really found in a pill it's not really found in a place it's not really found in a person it's found in a god in a Savior, in a loving Heavenly Father that is there to meet us in our time of need and carry us when we need carry. There are so many scriptures I could share, but you know them. They're all ones that you've heard before. The question is not do you know what to do when you're frustrated, the question is, are you doing what you need to do when you're frustrated to overcome that frustration? Take it to God. Well, you have a good day. We are going to be making arrangements today uh, to bring my father home under hospice. And uh, so keep us in your prayers. It's going to be a big adjustment here. I'll be headed back Friday sometime. And, uh, but, uh, just keep us in your prayers. Dad had a good night last night. Mom had a good night last night. Uh, so we're just going to pray for more good nights and more good days until the Lord chooses to call him home. And dad is, 
fine with that. He's ready for that. He made the decision to do this. So you have a great day. God bless you and all that you do. To all the folks back in Petersburg that made it possible for me to be here, I can't thank you enough. You are wonderful people who took care of the float and took care of the parade, and I just appreciate you more than you know. God bless you. Have a good day.